Hi, it's Tom from Leicester Fan TV. What did you think of the game? Now it's my turn. Hi, Tom from Leicester Fan TV. Uh, just thought I'd do a review of last night's game. Didn't get back till late-ish, but I thought I need to do something. I need to try and talk about what I saw last night and try and get my points of view. In, in a, another disappointed performance, you know, I'm, and before people say negative again, it's not negative. It's what I'm seeing at the moment. I'm trying to be realistic and I always give a realistic view of each game. Obviously, going into a game against a Walsall team, a Walsall team that we knew weren't going to be easy, even with the change being made, 10 changes and Ockley being the only one who'd been kept from the weekend, I was expecting a better performance than that. And I understand Cooper's reviews after the game and saying that, well, you know, it takes time, you change 10 plays, it's never going to be easy to gel and stuff. But I'm still not seeing what he's trying to do. And we'll come into that in a bit when I'm saying I don't get it. You know, it wasn't a minis game. Walsall, third in the division, played seven, won five, only lost two, only conceded four league goals this season in seven games. That's so a good, st- you know, really good defensive record. And once again, from the off, so, so sloppy with the ball. Samari giving the ball away, Ockley giving the ball away, you know, Faz, you know, you know, the list goes on how many times we gave the ball away in the first 10 minutes. And then you're just thinking, right, you, you've got to start doing something. Well, how are we going to break down the Walsall side? We're quite happy to sit deep, quite happy to counter-attack us at home. You know, knew they didn't want to come out too far because of the pace of Fatu and uh, Bobby Decker Reed on the other side. Obviously, Bonatti in the middle of the part who had an you know, all-right game again, struggled at times against more physical opponents, obviously. But how are you going to break this team down? How do you do it? And then you're watching the lineup and... The first half, first 60, 70 minutes especially, Ricky P, we all know, is devastating going score forward. Can create havoc in and around the box. No. Cooper plays him as a third central defender and lets Luke Thomas carry on bombing forward. A bit like he's done in the league with Christian on that left-hand side and JJ took him as a, as a third centre-back. So there was the first question. You bring <laughs> Ricardo in who's so attacking, so aggressive going forward, straight away, you've, no, you're not doing that tonight. You're going to be the defensive one out of the two. Thomas, you go forward, who, once again, I mean, another luck luck performance from Luke Thomas in the, the left-hand side of the pitch. Did all right, but not creative enough for me to be playing there. And if he's the one who's supposed to be doing the creative work, well, what's that say about Cooper and uh, Ricardo? Obviously, we didn't really create much in the first half. It was very more hit and miss. I mean, I was one hit him and went into the goalie's arms. The best chance of the first half really came to uh, Walsall. A uh, ball down the right-hand side, let one-two, pulled it back across the box. And there's the uh, centre-forward who takes it first time. And fair play, Danny Wall with a terrific save. Absolutely terrific save in the middle of the box in goal. So not matter was at him. He had to save it and he did a great job of doing that. And again, another ball to the far post caused havoc for us and we, we just got it away in time. Half time, I think we're all sitting there thinking, what the hell have I just watched? It can't get any worse than this. Sadly, that performance continued into the second half. And I'd say after about five to six, ten minutes that second half, the frustration between the Leicester fans started to grow and grow and grow. And the chance of Cooper Cooper start sorted out, started, and you could see the players were looking towards the, you know, the away section. Obviously can hear these chants. Maybe it sort of got them riled up a little bit because we did see a little bit more going forward then, but nothing really creative enough to cause Walsall any problems. I know it did take to, to what the last five, six minutes of the game for us to have a first full proper shot on target. It was just another frustrating performance. But once again, I see a team that lacking ideas, lacking creativity and lacking a knowledge of what Cooper's trying to get them to do. And I go back to this point made at given 
when I say lack of knowledge and lack of what he wants to do, I mean, I don't see his identity stamping on this team yet. Now, we can. I'll go back to Enzo last year, and this is not me saying Enzo's ball better than Cooper ball. What I'm saying is, how has he got his mess? How is he getting his message across to the players in training? Because all week, all I hear is Cooper said they've had a great week in training. They're looking really happy. They're looking sharp. Everything seems to be going well. We're going in the right directions. And every single time we come to a Saturday or whatever time kickoff it is, we're not seeing that on the pitch. We're not seeing this involvement in how Cooper wants them to play. And when I say it's taken too long for me, it is taking too long. I'm going to play a clip in a moment. And this was Huddersfield last year. This was our second league game of the season. So same as Enzo, he's had a full pre-season. This was his second game. This was one of the moves in the game. This is what I talk about, sharpness. This is what I talk about, getting your ideas over to the team to, re, you know, from a training pitch onto the pitch. Because this is basically what Enzo was doing last year. He got his, his idea onto the players really quickly. So this was Huddersfield, second game of the season. As you can see, the players all know where they've got to be. They know their whips. They know exactly where they're playing into. The Winks goes into Pratt. Pratt lays it around the corner. This is Kelechi in the uh, forward position, lays it off. And then Ricardo, who's obviously playing central midfield with the ball through the park. That, that bit of play don't just happen from being on the pitch. That's not something they've chose to do. That is something they've worked on. That is a way of a system. That is a way of a pattern of play. That is an identity of how they want to play through the middle of the park and break the lines. I don't see us breaking lines at the moment. I don't see where we're getting any creativity for. I see a team that get the ball from the centre half or goalie to the centre half into the middle of the park to then lose the ball again or go wide and we just put a hopeless ball into the area. I don't see a team that really flows and people say it's still early, but we're five games into a league season. We've had all pre-season and, and I know that's the championship and we had a good squad of players, but the players knew where to be on that part to set that play up or get into those positions, how to break through the Huddersfield press. And again, it's the championship and we have really good players, but still they knew how to play a system and a pattern of play. I'm not Cooper out still, and I really, really want Cooper to turn this around and prove everybody wrong. But we need to start seeing something. Arsenal at the weekend is going to be a massive, massive game now. Yes, we know it's going to be unlikely we're going to get a result there. But what I will say is we need to go and see that and start seeing some kind of performance levels. The players even come out and say they've let themselves down. JJ's statement saying the players didn't turn up against Everton. Danny Ward last night after the game saying they know they've not played well enough in any of the games this season and, you know, it's taken too long to get going. That's big concerns. The players are saying this already. You know, you want to see a positive mindset from the boys. Yeah, it's not good, but we're going to put this right. We're good. But every game, it's the same old. And it's not me being negative. It's what I'm seeing. Cooper's got to somehow drill his way of playing into the players and get it onto the pitch. Because at the moment, I don't see how Cooper's playing. I don't see how Cooper wants the team to play. Like I say, if you're at the game last night, obviously it was a great ending to it. We won, we're through to the next round. We'll find out tonight who we got in the next round of the Cup. Uh, if you go to Arsenal, I'll look forward to seeing you there. Come and say hello, have a chat with me. We'll try and get you on air if we can. Always have good people on air. Like I say, it was a quick review. Another frustrating night last night. Another frustrating performance last night. And like I say, I'm not Cooper out. What I'm saying is, after two games, Emzo Mareska had his style of play and the players were playing it. Why is it taking so long to get Cooper's style of play into these players? I'll leave that question with you to decide. Cheers. Hi, it's Tom from Leicester Fan TV. What did you think of the game? Now it's my turn.